We walk along this trail through the brush and slowly we come out of the brush and we can see what our destination is. And it's a rock shelter. What a rock shelter is, some people call them caves, but they're not really caves. A shelter is a, is a cavity in the cliffside that's been eroded by water and wind. You're just immediately overwhelmed by the magnitude of the shelter. This is a huge, huge shelter, you know, well over 100 feet. As you stand in this place and listen, you realize that it's an amphitheater. Any whisper that you utter on one side of the shelter immediately sounds in everyone's ears as if, as if someone's whispering in your ear. It's magical. You know, you just stand there and you look up, the, the rock shelter kind of curves up over the top of your head and there's this anthropomorph or human-like figure that stands 15 feet tall, you know, just curves up and goes right up over the top of you. So you're just surrounded by these images. The immediate impression is a kind of jumble. You know, all different colors, red, yellow, black. You see lots of animals. White, different shades of orange. You see a large, upside-down feline, probably a mountain lion. A uh, feather hip cluster. Looks like it's spitting blood. Power bundle. And it's red. It's very red. Rabbit stick. Uh, deer figures. Spears. Human-like figures. An atlatl. Often they look like ghosts. Rabbit ear headdress. Figures with antlers coming out of their heads. Uh, antler headdress. Elongated arms. Very long legs. It's, uh, it's awe-inspiring. As you stare at it, you begin to see the patterns, the way that they seem to be connected with lines drawing from one figure to another. You begin to see a narrative, and the question is, what is this story? Were they talking about their ancestors? Were they writing about their gods? Does it have something to do with the weather? Does it have something to do with, with bringing the rain? <laughs> 